Alrighty. All right, so what I'm doing today is I've got this quad I've been flying for a while. And I actually just flew it on the, just the stable flat one software that it shipped with. So I'm moving to Ghost and apparently for Ghost right now, you wanna use the alpha build. So I really haven't hooked my newer flat one quads up to the computer in a while because I just kinda have been flying them on the default software they ship with. So I haven't seen a lot of videos on how to do this. So I already did two of my quads and I figured the third one, I'd just show everybody what to do. So if you go to just the uh, flat1.com website and go to downloads right up here. Sorry, I don't have the best filming setup. Uh, and then you'll see Falco X firmware companion and then you'll see Falco X Beta Firmware Companion, and then you'll see Falco X Alpha Firmware Companion. So I'm not really sure what the beta is, but I think the just the regular Falco X Firmware Companions maybe for the oldest firmwares, and Alpha's the newest and Beta's in between. I don't know. Anyway, everybody was saying use the newest Alpha, the latest Alpha. So. You can download the Falfa, <laughs> Falfa, Alpha, Alpha, the uh, Falco X Alpha Firmware Companion here, which I've already done. So once you download it, you can run it. And when you run it, it looks like this. And uh, basically you plug your quad in and then put it in the computer. If I can get, there we go, plug that in. It'll make some noises. Uh, and then of course, I guess you can drag firmwares here, but like, you know, you go to the firmware folder and there's the 10.0.18.4939, uh, which is what my uh, H7 fly controller flipped, uh, shipped with. So uh, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna go over here to, uh, what's it called? Update firmware. It says here, my firmware is out of date. Uh, so I'm gonna click on that. And then here, all you gotta do is click update. Somebody was telling me to update my bootloader. And so I'm not sure if you have to do this separately or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on update bootloader. And then there's this button here that says update, and it's gonna download the latest from the web. So I clicked it and now it is doing its thing. You kind of see right there. And uh, rebooted my flight controller. It's gonna minimize that folder. And now it says uh, DFU bootloader flashing and then it shows my serial number. So I think that means it's done. So now I wanna to go to the latest version. Here it shows the version of the uh, flight can, oh, right up there. It shows the uh, version of firmware you have on it and the, ver the latest version. So I'm gonna be going from, uh, looks like, 0.18.4939 to 10.1.0.5490. So I guess that's a pretty big change. But anyway, it's gonna click on update. And we'll see if it works. It says right here it's flashing and verifying. And the DFU flash is now complete. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, Interesting thing, I just assumed I'd have to go back into the Falco X, uh, you know, like the uh, wizard to set up everything. And the last two quads that I did that were identical builds to this, um, when I plugged in a battery, all my settings were there and my rate preference was there. I run heads up rates now and, uh, or van over rates, but usually heads up rates. Uh, so I'd have to set any of that stuff up. My turtle mode and arm switch, all that stuff was set up, which was kind of cool. So, yeah, it's just kind of kind of interesting. But uh, um, what I am gonna do, I've got these on Crossfire and I'm moving them to Ghost. So, uh, so now I'll just go into the menu and do the reset radio config, uh, you know, in the menus. And then, after, uh, then I'll turn the power off and solder up my ghost flight controller. And then when I turn it on, it should look for a new, uh, you know, communication protocol. But anyway, that's apparently how you use this uh, Falco X configurator for uh, Alpha. Hope that's helpful to somebody.